Hello, everyone. It's me, Mrs. Groner, and I'm here to talk to you about another one of our Davis Steam Week challenges. Today's challenge is a backyard field trip and scavenger hunt. This challenge has two activities we'll be doing. Let's take a look at what we're doing today. The first activity is for us to use our five senses. What does that mean? Well, your job is to take your notebook with something to write with. Then find a place to sit quietly. If you can go someplace outside, that would be wonderful. But if you can't go outside, it's okay to do this in your house. Then think, use those five senses. What do you see? What do you hear? What do you feel? And what do you smell? After you finish sitting there quietly for about 10 minutes, think again. Did you learn anything new? Was there something that you heard that you normally don't hear when you just sat quietly? Was there something special you could see? Write all of that down in your notebook. Once you finish using your five senses, you get to go on a scavenger hunt yay scavenger hunts are so fun now you can go on the scavenger hunt inside your house if you need to or if you can go outside ask your family and you can go outside and do this outside how does this work well what do you need you need your notebook and something to write with and you need a bag or container I just have a regular paper bag from a store that I can use to put all of the things I find inside. Then I can share them with my family. Okay, are you ready to go on the scavenger hunt? This is your job. What do you do? Find these items. Then you find something straight, something fuzzy, something rough, something round? Can you find something green? Something with leaves? Can you find something that has seeds? Or something that makes noise? Can you find a stick? A rock? Or what other super fun things can you find when you're using your five senses? It's up to you. Put those things in your bag. When you're done going on the scavenger hunt, you can share everything you found with your family. You can also take a picture of the things that you found and upload it into your seesaw. Now, take a picture of all of those things you found. You can even make an art project with all of the cool things that you found and take a picture of that. I hope you have a lot of fun with this activity and I hope to see you again very soon.